Hi guys, it's Matt here from Golf Dream vs Reality. Now I've got a lovely, lovely day for you guys that I'm going to capture today. It's going to be a lovely day for me as well and it's going to be a very, very special course. Now, you can probably tell from in the background, it's nice and sunny. So I'm not in England, I'm actually overseas, I'm in Dubai and I'm playing the Jumeirah Golf Estates Earth Course. Now, if you don't know what this course is, it's a very, very special course. It's where it hosts the DP World Tour Finals every year, the end of the European Tour. All the best play here, McElroy's one here, Lee Westwood's one here, John Rahm's one here, so a real special course with a lot of history. And here we are. Another great thing about today is I'm actually playing this on the last day that the course is open before it shuts for the DP World Tour. So the course should be in tip-top condition. And we've also got all of these. All the grandstands and everything are up, so it's gonna feel unreal playing on the course. Going to feel like one of the pros, probably not going to play like one of the pros, but it's going to be good fun. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below, and I hope you enjoy this video. On the second hole here, all you can see is bunkers. <clears throat> Gone a bit right. Thank you. Hard out of this stuff, isn't it? We're on the second hole, and I haven't hit one fairway yet, so not a great start. But I've got the help of my caddy, Elmer. He's, he's great, he's watching my ball, so I haven't lost one yet. Just <laughs> I didn't didn't hit that drive well at all, pulled it left and well short, but just avoided the bunker, so can't complain too much. Course is looking tip top today. Paired up with three members who are all decent, so they're well up there. And poor old me's sitting back here. Don't go in the bunk. Oh, yes. I'll take that. <laughs> so, this is the fifth hole, par three at 200 yards, and it's just bunkers absolutely everywhere. But don't worry about that because I'm on the green. Not ideal, but <laughs> straight. Ah, caught it thin. Oh, it's nice to experience the bunkers anyway. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, too aggressive. It's nice today as well, no one behind us. They're watering the course, so. I haven't got anyone playing up behind. Yeah. Nice. I hit an eight as well, I just didn't want to say before. <laughs> nah. Take the green. So this is the seventh hole. I mean, what a hole. Pros are going to be playing from over there next week, but 150 yards, I think it was, to carry over the water. Just landed on the edge of the green, so I'll take that. Correction. 
Elma tells me it's the sixth hole, not the seventh hole, so apologies for that. Good job he's here, I'd be in trouble telling you all wrong information. So this is the seventh and as you can see, some massive, massive bunkers, but as you also just saw, I've avoided them so far as I've chunked it over into the uh, wood chipping of the rough, which is uh, not ideal, but that's what happens when you're bad at golf and you play on the championship course. But what a sight, what a beautiful course this is. So I didn't film my last shot because I wanted to avoid the embarrassment in case it didn't come out nice, but it did come out nice and we're in the middle of the fairway just up by the bunker, so not too bad of a recovery shot. No. It's near that tree. I seem to be playing avoid the fairways today, which I'm sure the green keepers will be happy with, so I'm not taking too many divots out before the pros get here, but not ideal for my scorecard, that's for sure. So on the front nine, I didn't hit one fairway, but we're on the back nine now, 12th hole, and I've hit every fairway so far with my tee shots, albeit on the 10th, I was three off the tee, so I suppose that one doesn't count, but I'll take it, finding the short grass for once. <sighs> Everything's been going left, and now that all goes right. I must admit, today is a real reminder of what we're missing now being in winter in England. Summer golf, please come back soon because this is so much better than playing in minus two degrees. So I've just ended up right of the green, 60 yards to the pin. A couple of nice big bunkers to, to avoid. No. Got in the big bunker. <laughs> Third time lucky. Just on the 13th hole here. Course is surrounded by buildings all the way around, so some nice houses here if people are lucky enough to live here. And uh, Callie was telling me that these over here are just started being sold for 17 million dirham each, which I think is about three or four million pounds, so lovely. Them bunkers. Complimentary ice cold towels as well here, which is brilliant in this heat. Keeps you nice and cool. Look like a bit of an idiot though. Be good, be good, be good, be good. Nah. No, stay left, stay left, come left. Oh. There it goes, hitting the fairways. <laughs> Horrible shot. Blimey. All right, take two. Blame Elmer for the last one, because I never had a caddy to blame, so now I'm blaming the caddy. Wee, he fell over. I'll have the shot. Back on the fairway. left but I'd rather be that than in the water. Is there a bunker there? Oh good. <laughs> oh wow. Really short. Caught the ground too much. To 
horrible bounce that. Yes. Ah. So 18 for final hole. The iconic one with the creek. I'm told to go left, so let's see whether I can avoid that creek. Probably not by the looks of it. I think that's gonna be wet. Oh, stop, stop. Nope, perfect. Happy with that. So luckily, ball stayed dry. Let's try and keep this second shot nice and dry. Don't know where that's gone because I don't know the hole very well, but we'll find out. This is the famous creek that runs the whole way down the fairway, zigzagging across. So it's not like you can even easily avoid it and stay left the whole hole because further up there, it cuts across there. So a real challenge for any golfer, especially someone as bad as me. So my ball's gone over there right. Hopefully didn't hit them on the head. But we'll get up there and have a look and you can see some more grandstands there so pretty epic view and a lucky day to be playing so i have found my ball it is nestled down here under this tree but i think i'm going to take a drop because i don't think going how my day's been going today i'm going to be able to play it so lesson learned for trying to cut the corner but let's drop it out here give me half a chance i'm going to cheat slightly and drop it out on the grass because I haven't just paid all this money for a round to play off the sand on the 18th hole, so drop it out here. See if we can hit the pin or hit the grandstands. Right, 163 to the pin. Not only have I got to avoid the creek, I've got to avoid smashing the windows on the grandstand. Oh, oh right! Oh, <laughs> this is not a drop. <laughs> right, let's finish on a strong note. No! Hey, I'll have some of that. <laughs> this is the bouncing hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, couldn't make it up. This is the end of the creek. Look at that. Beautiful. And how epic is this? Playing in amongst all this. And we play park at the partner from today. Lovely chap, Francisco. And there's my lucky bounce onto the green. So can't ask for more than that. So 18th hole. And as lovely as it is, I'm very sad that my rounds, it, rounds come into an end. Let's see if we can end it on a good note. Not enough. Not enough sauce. The crowd go wild. Oh, <laughs> for the loss. <laughs> All right, for an eight. <laughs> well played Francisco, thank you very much for a great day. So back here now after playing the earth course at Jamiro Estates and what an excellent day it was. The course, it doesn't need me to tell you about the facilities and how good it is because it's quite clear that it's going to have excellent facilities considering it hosts the DP World Tour every year. Uh, but it has got amazing facilities and it is excellent. It's um, probably up there one of the best courses I've played. Maybe it's, it's tight, that and Woodhorse Bar, they're, they're probably neck and neck. Um, Course wise, I did find some of the holes a bit similar, which is probably why I prefer Woodall's Bar overall. But it's still an amazing course, some really, really good holes on there. And it's just amazing to be able to play a course where the pros all play and you can watch it on the telly. So that was awesome. With regards to the facilities and the staff there, they were all really, really friendly. And Elmer, who you saw in the video, absolutely excellent caddy and a credit to Jamira Estates. He's really helpful, really friendly, nothing was too much trouble. So thanks, Elmer. He was brilliant for that. Um, the rest of the staff, they're all friendly, um, so yeah, really, really great experience and if you are in Dubai, um, although the green fee is quite expensive and it is quite hard to get on there, if you can get booked on there, I would highly, highly recommend it. 
usually you do get a green f uh, a buggy with your green fee so I think the green fee I paid at work that's about 180 pounds but we couldn't have a buggy due to the European Tour uh, final being there so we had to walk the course um, but then you, you can get a caddy as well the caddies work out to about 40 pounds so it is expensive but it is well well worth it if you love your golf and especially if you know the course and you and you watch the DP World Tour every year it's, it's an experience that I don't think you can really put a price on so if you can get out here and, and play it I'd, I'd definitely recommend it hope you've enjoyed the video news is going to be another video as well I'm going to be playing the last three holes which are the signature holes of the course so if you haven't checked that video out make sure you do on our channel and if you're not subscribed to the channel already just make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any future videos Thank you and goodbye from Dubai.